Hey everyone, welcome to Legends Podcasting. I'm Stu. I'm Ross. And I'm Rob. And we're here for Masters of the Universe Revolution. <laughs> I have the power! He's just come. Uh, <laughs> That's literally what it's like. Uh, give me two minutes, wait. Oh, okay. Hey, oh my like, gosh. Um, can you say, who told you get in bed with your wife again? Would you like to visit Snake Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, you've got my point. Yeah, that was one of the weirder lines. <laughs> it's like, like, uh, it's like is, is, it, is he a skeleton all the way down, or is it it's just like, it's a thing. <laughs> it doesn't have a penis? Anyway, um, oh, Constant so, Boner. Yeah. <laughs> that's a character, isn't it? Constant Boner. <laughs> that's, one the, that's one of the characters they release as a toy. You just you uh, push a switch on his back. Uh, this took a turn very fast. <laughs> that's what this whole show is going to be. Right. Anyway, so this oh, is season two, obviously, of the season one that came out uh, two, two years ago, which I cannot believe, of Revelations. Mm. So, um, obviously, this intro might go on a while because we're quite big female fans, but we are just short of the age of where it was a big... So we were born when it was big, yep. but we weren't old enough to watch it. So, And it being in the UK, it wasn't really on TV, the original show. Mm, nope. I remember having a VHS tep- yep, tape a, with... My great grandma had a VHS tape with about three episodes as well. Yeah, I yeah. definitely remember two of them. One was when Roboto, they find Roboto. One was about um, the dragon. I think it shows up in this season, the, the mm. big dragon with the helmet on and something about some fire going out. Um, and I, I, It's weird, right? Because I, I loved He-Man, but I didn't have many of the figures, which is very strange for me because I'm a sport-only child. So I had a lot of figures when I was a kid. <laughs> but mine was mostly Thundercats, Transformers, Turtles... Mm. Very little He-Man. A battle Cat, I had a He-Man, but it wasn't the He-Man with the sword. He had this sort of shield and like a big spinny thing. Right. Um, and I had... Not the battle damage one with the thing. No, no, he had, he had that on, but it wasn't the battle damage one. He sort of, you could plug this thing and I had sort of three things with balls on the end and just span. And I had... Uh, cla- clamp? It's a, oh, clap Clamp? No, 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 no. No, he's the bad, the bad guy with the... Purple. Clap Jaw. Yeah, yes. Clap Jaw. I think I had him. Don't remember having any others for some reason. I had virtually everyone. I remember Christmas. I had got Castle Grey Skull and all the figures, <laughs> and that's only because I thought I was spoiled. <laughs> Jesus, that's only because because it literally just tailed off when I was like four or five. Oh, so it come down in price. Yeah, my parents got it at a car boot, mm. like the whole lot, really you know, nice. like massive things. So nice. Yeah. yeah, all of them. So you were you were there going? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'll get you, he man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, I only had like a couple of episodes, and then had the Shira movie. There was, yes. I think it was like three episodes or whatever, but they made it into like mm-hmm. a little movie, didn't they? Yeah, where He Man goes and finds his sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched, actually watched that the other day. It's it's such, I mean, such a movie that I actually watched season, rewatch season one a couple of weeks ago. Then I watched the Dolph Lundgren movie. I watched that. Then recently, I watched the documentary, yeah. um, Grey Scale documentary, which is really fascinating. And then I watched the, watched that yeah, yeah. Um, Sword of Power. You didn't yeah. watch the toys that made us? Yes. Oh, well, yeah, I watched that one as well. But then the, the Grey Scale. This, this is one of it's the It's like 45 minutes and the documentary is an hour and a half. And it's pretty yeah. much. The same thing, but like just more. This is one of the few shows you everything we've though. watched. I've had to actually do research for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's great. It's, it's, it's a fascinating show because right? it literally, the watching documentary, they literally made this toy line because they missed out on Star Wars. And then if you put the documentary, they say they like, literally come up with this, these ideas of toys. Then you had like, you had like He Man. Are you going to tell the story? I did not tell you. We're putting comics in. Yeah. Come up with that just now. Just <laughs> in this, just in this <laughs> meeting. <laughs> And then they go to, I think that was for um, I can't That's remember That's when Stinkor was invented Yeah yeah, yeah. Was, Nine motherfuckers <laughs> Yeah they say in the book entry It wasn't for Toys R Us It was for another one And then they went met, met with Toys R Us They were like Let's Charles cool. World Charles Gage yeah And mm. then it was like They went there um, Toys R Us And they were like Oh we're going to put a comic in And he goes Well it's for Fibers They don't read And the guy's like It's a cartoon show coming And like uh, <laughs> The what I just made it up We just get that, that sorted pretty quickly mm. um, So And they also created this whole thing And the whole History of how It's, it's another one of those crazy Ones similar to Turtles Where it was like mm. And I just a random idea mm. that someone picked up, and then it's become this but unlike phenomenon. Turtles, which has been around for decades, it was a phenomenon for about three or four years, and then just disappeared. Mm. And yes. <laughs> well, they try and re- they try to rebrand. Right? So they obviously they brought the film out, which didn't do great. Sort of like a cult classic. Now, then they, they rebrought like early. Well, night. that was still sort of in the hype era. Yeah, it was being made it. at its peak, but yes. it came out after it had faded. Yeah, off it had yes. faded. Yeah, and it was a bit. It was. Although I, I still I still love it as a movie, um, it's obviously it changed a lot from what people expected. They brought like new characters in. He never turned into Adam. Mm. They went to Earth, which makes <laughs> no sense. Anyway, but it's, but Skeletor, it, I think that's his, the best version of Skeletor, in my opinion. Well, um, for, uh, the what's, movie. What's his name? Uh, Franklin Jello. Yeah, yeah, Franklin Jello. Yeah, he's yeah. so menacing. Mm. The way he speaks, like, he articulates his words, yeah. and he's like he's just he's got such a presence. Where Skeletor in every other version, he's a bit of an idiot. Mm. Yes, and I think it's because it's for kids. 
he got dumb because he looks quite evil. Yes. They give him a bit of a stupid voice and they make him a bit of a joke, so it's not that scary. Well, yeah, say it was a kid's. Is it, say the original one, although it was, it's like nostalgia value, if you watch it now, it is. A class. It was literally. It was, <laughs> it was literally as as they will. What Mattel will always admit it was literally a twenty minute advert to sell yeah. toys. Right. Yeah. There was no real substance to the characters. There was no real plot. It was literally like Skeletor's doing this this week. He man's going to stop him. Uh, that was pretty much it for mm-hmm. the whole show. Um, you couldn't use the sword to fight because of the rules back then. You just reused the animation to get out as quickly as possible. And although, so it's just, yeah, I say it's got a good place in my heart. But the fact that like when Revelations came out a couple of years ago, they kept the the sort of classic looks of the characters and just modernised them, but then gave this really cool story arc, exploring the world, character development, mon- monologuing, mm. but also giving so many references to like the old show and the toys, toys and, get made and, and, and stuff, the, even yeah. some bits for the movie which I, I just think they did really well I know there was this controversy when it came out with Kevin Smith being like no 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 no, we're not going to kill human enough don't we talk about it and then obviously he does mm. spoilers if, if, I mean if you're, if you're watching this you would have definitely watched <laughs> season one yeah. well. but um, but I actually quite like they take those two off the board to explore well, not, the world it, it, I don't think there's a problem with the the story arc it's the way that it was marketed and the way that the people reacted to it Yeah. Um, and then Kevin Smith then feeding into that and he, he's just He's just become a bit of a weirdo, Kevin Smith, in recent years. It's just like, he'd have done well just to have just ignored it and released it as is, yeah. rather than adding to the fuel to the fire that caused everyone to just back off. I think it's people that are, yeah, like, I mean, not to go I mean the person that spoiled it is the pain in the ass. Because mm. if nobody knew, nobody would have asked, and they would have just mm. watched it as it was. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. But um, but yeah, so we uh, we finished up uh, Revelations with Tila is now the sorceress. Mm-hmm. Revelation. Le- Revelation. What did I just say? Revelations. Revelations. That's the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, it's going to happen terrible. a lot. It's going to happen. I'm probably going to say it multiple times through this show. Um, Revel, Re- Revelation. Um, we had. What you right? say? No, the, the, the same. This is Revelation, and then it's Revolution. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that what the Matrix was sequeled? Revelation. No, re- reloaded. Reloaded, isn't it? and then Revelation. Revelation. Then Revelation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just like they're copying it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that table leg's about to go. I'm leaning on it too much. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, so yeah, so so Tila's that sorceress who can leave Grayscale. Um, oh, what's her name? And and her friend. Allura. No, 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 Andora. no, 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 and no, 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 Angela. It begins with an A. Fuck it. Her. She's now man at arms. Yeah. Um, everyone knows who he man. He man Adam are the same person. Skeletor at the end got turned into techno Skeletor by mm-hmm. it looks like Hordak. Well, it's motherboard, but it turns out yeah, it was the Horde. Yeah, from from the Shira like. show, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I finished. It, I mean, I don't know, just it was just such a cool. I mean, I know people like it was. Um, it, for me, it's a bit I, 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 really I, I didn't watch it when it first came out. Um, I didn't have the time to be honest, but the um, I watched it all recently in the lead up to us watching this. And yeah, I, it was it was good. It wasn't brilliant. Mm. The storyline was built over the well, well. I liked the way they got there. Um, but I didn't like some of the character stuff they did mm. with like Teela in season the first part the first episodes is an absolute bitch for most of it yeah. <laughs> anger issues but anger as soon as they start revealing more about her past and her destiny to become the sorceress she actually has a character and moves forward and she gets a better haircut by the end of it as well <laughs> <laughs> it's just hair right. grows back hmm? hair grows back yeah. no, it happens quite a lot because like, Evil Lynn like, had a haircut cut when she turned into hmm. got the power and then at the end it's long again hmm. so that was <laughs> just when the evil Lynn turned into what's it called self dark Lynn yeah, yeah. When she, yeah. god Lynn that's someone's fetish right there that's um <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought the fetish was when she turned into the sorceress when he <laughs> was scared to turn her into sorceress she's like all that bat costume yeah. I was like someone uh, had fun with that drawing <laughs> that design but um <clears throat> but yeah I, I mean I, I I don't know I didn't realise how much the world meant to me until I watched that show and I actually teared up quite a few times when they sort of killed off certain people or just like some. Of the, I mean there's a lot of monologuing most of it I thought was quite good but some some of it just te- 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 teared me up so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing I believe this is only five episodes it's mm. not going to be it's not going to be there's not going to be like a part one part two so I'm assuming less monologuing more action Hordex coming yep. Techno Skeletals around mm. you can't I don't know if you can get away with defeating the Horde in, in five episodes maybe there's going to be a film coming out afterwards I think no, no Set idea. up for something else. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's maybe season three. Hopefully, if it, if it does really well. But it's, yeah, um, I mean, Mattel are having a field day because they've re-released all the figures from this show, mm. and they put in a lot of figures with um, from from like, the original. Like, although I'm, I'm going to miss him dearly. Fisto, Fisto was MVP of the of season one. 
with his two lines that just made me crack up and then he got killed off the amount of innuendo in that first season I mean the puns they're just the stupid like the funny puns they made it like the 80s puns and the music was really like 80s and it was like but yeah like there's some really, really funny bits like make, and making Skeletor evil mm. but still not stupid but like still like gets shot down quite like the first thing the first time you see him in episode one and he's like monologuing to the sorcerer the sorcerer just shoots him off and he's like oh god <laughs> um, I remember I remember watching that the first time and I was so confused I was like wait a minute how's he man there but Adam's in the yeah, yeah, yeah. and Speak I was like where is Faker and then yeah. he's like wait a minute um, what did it say that Orko's like he puts um Queen you in a bubble because he's scared of the yeah, fireworks. Yeah, he can't right? breathe. It's great. So, sorry, I need somebody like, with the power to help me. Yeah, yeah. Possibly, I have the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's right. It's, it's like, um, he goes, wrong line. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. It just transforms yeah. you. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Yeah, it's like Shazam saying Shazam yeah. by accident. Yeah. 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 He's like, who's, who's there? The super hero. Like, oh, Shazam. Oh, crap. No. <laughs> um, yeah, no. And there was, yeah, the, the Fisto lines, even the bit where Skeletor's already like Skeletor God or whatever they called him mm. and he starts laughing and Adam's like laughing and goes why are we laughing at why are we laughing <laughs> and he turns into like mega He-Man mm. like that was there's some, just some really great ideas I mean I'm pretty sure they just must have had like a story like a whiteboard and they're like what, what, what's all the stuff we want to do come up with some ideas what are those ideas and I just went right yes do all of that because it went like way crazy by the end of it but I, I, I really enjoyed it I thought it was great um, I watched rewatched it recently I still enjoy it so I'm really, really, really excited to watch this. Oh, so we then we're going to watch it all, really good as well, all yeah. in one night. We are going five episodes tonight, back to back. Balls deep. <laughs> That's one of those action figures By that came out. By the power of Grayskull. Balls, Balls deep. <laughs> it's Fisto's cousin. It's Fisto's cousin. Jesus. That, we don't, they don't talk about that side of the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. So um, I think we just get on to the first episode because I am very, very excited. So let's jump into it. Just before we jump to episode one of Master of the Universe Revelations, just want revolutions. God damn, it's going to say it every time. Uh, I just want to thank everyone who's been subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate it. But if you found us just because of this show, or you've been watching this for a while and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the channel, please. We really want to get as many subscribers as possible. So please subscribe. And also don't forget we're on Patreon where we have the full watch along to all of this series. So head over there, support us there. And let's jump into episode one of Master of the Universe Revolution. <laughs> Ooh, a little techie. Oh, no, it's like his chest piece, isn't it? Like yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. Mm. The Even for kings. I do like the name of the last episode as well. Oh, um, comes to everything you yeah, see here. Yeah, well, yeah. that's quite clever. Maybe a time skip, or is it going to be a straight mm. continuation? I don't know. I guess it must be a little bit of a time skip. So, is that Fortress of Solitude? <laughs> isn't that the entrance to Subternia? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Tila? Looks like Orko's hat. He does, yeah. Someone nicked it off him. He's like, no, my hat! Hmm. <laughs> I smell no fear. Oh, that's cool. Is it Anna? That this is where it is. How did he get through the thing? Yeah. And hope comes to die. Suffering starts only after you offer up. What's about monologuing? <laughs> I mean, I, I know, I love it. <laughs> My name? Adam, Prince of Eternia. I am Adam, yes. Prince of Eternia, the and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. The champion. And I'm Orko. Oh, that was Orko's hat. Bring with a tiny ticket to Subternia. You'd be dead. <laughs> we didn't come to fight, Scarecrow. Our friends were sent to Subternia by Skeletor <gasps> when he stole the power. We get so Fisto we back. That you let us leave the land of the dead with the souls of our friends, Clanchin and Fisto. Yes! <laughs> Renius and Malcolm died as heroes. God, they obviously heard the fans. They belong in a better place than this. Since the heavens fell when Evil Lynn destroyed Fraternia. Besides. They're perfect additions to my collection. Oh, he's got us. Just make it like you'll see. Damn straight. Then I have to give up all of their delicious <laughs> It's a giant fist, like. You can Oh, Jesus. No. I think I'll leave them right where they are. Well. You know what would look even better? Hanging beside them. You're there. Uh oh. So much for diplomacy. Well, at least they asked nicely first. <laughs> Love Plan B. <laughs> Should have opened with that. Yeah. 
I love the music, man. But it's not as good as the original. Yeah, I know, but it's still cool. Oh, oh you guys are in trouble now. Just blow a hole into uh, hell. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, buzz off. <gasps> Snow spout! Yes. Who <laughs> <laughs> else had a knee? Um, uh, man, uh, 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 Bob oh, Fair. Hello, oh, Ram Man. man as well. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> like E Honda. <laughs> they were going to mold into one of three big things. Big, yeah. Ooh. Jack is making a break from the coop and coming your way. Oh, okay, yeah, they made a cute sausage. Like Man at Arms first. But... Whoa! Headshot! Whoa! What was that? One big awesome toy. It's, got, it's about 120 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Love his dad. Yes. Kiss the ring. Yeah. Oh, look, Hulkbuster. He's totally getting that. Hmm. Yeah. This, is, this is how he dies. Hmm. I'm guessing. <laughs> I think we've seen him in that in the trailer, didn't we? That's what I like to like that. Oh, Jesus. Boss time. Dad, is this bully bothering you, son? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well done, Adam. That's my you ain't a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so proud now you're a female. Yeah. Jesus. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, it looks like uh, Joker and Arkham Asylum. The animation's a bit up, right? It's a lot smoother. Yeah. Ooh, oh, you literally cracked his face. Oh, better late than never. Explosive entrance, my sorceress. Just following your lead, my champion. <laughs> Flirt later. <laughs> <laughs> they're like husband and wife are alive. We're on our way. Well, they're married in the comics, aren't they? These are they? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's pissed. Can't he just get out now? Yeah. Well, they literally blow the like, hell off. Yeah. No, I seal the door. Like, yeah, blow up those crystals around it. Oh, okay, no. No, we got a special toy for that. Yeah. <laughs> Sealing door. It's going to slap right his face. Bang. <laughs> it's a giant He Man logo. Oh my god. Amazing. Look at that. Oh god, please make that into a toy. You were incredible. What about you? Save it for the bedroom, guys. The gate <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Bang. My king! Oh, crap. No. It's gonna be... You have to have your responsibility as king now. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Snake Mountain! There was a time when magic, not machine, was my weapon of choice. And Have you seen a toy of this? What, the skeleton? No, not skeleton, the uh, mother board. Oh, she's so a toy of mother board. Oh, full wings and everything. Damn. No, my children. So you can just turn people with that. He sounded well like the movie version there. And now that my mind is open. So you can just change people with his, with his hand. That's what I see. All I see. <laughs> Is motherboard! Jesus. Glory be to the Lord Almighty! You honor your mother as well as your father. Mm. It's all that. Yeah. I love I love all that more than Skeleton. <laughs> yeah, he's all. Another soul absorbed for the Lord, my master. 
And what about Skeletor? I love his voice so much. After yeah. decades of dissertion, reminds me of the Inspector Gadget. <laughs> you don't see him. Yeah. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Oh, he's got a little white skin. You have succeeded in the just plain white. Others have failed me. And so, the Eternian conversion continues. Eternian Make conversion? My machinations my right hand. For soon, I'm gonna say I will take the prize long. Teasing, night. teasing. Oh! <laughs> the sky is a dark grey skull will team with the Horde army. Oh, he looks evil as hell. Looks very bat like, doesn't he? Yeah. Because his uh, symbol is a bat. Bat wings. So, anyway. what's wrong with my dad? It's a kind of organ failure I've never encountered before, Adam. Still. We it's just the quest for the season? Ago, my lord. You knew about this? How could you let him go with me to Saturnia? His Majesty would not be swayed. Adam. He's like a punchling in a cool robot suit. At the side of his son, <laughs> the you? I know everything. <laughs> Ducking on his neck. He always knows. Save him, Tila. Like you saved me. Yeah, but I say, yeah, she can do anything. Is it tech based? Oh, I think it's her um, motherboard. Even if she could, I wouldn't let her. That's fine. What little I have left, I need to spend on my two greatest loves. <laughs> Wine and women. <laughs> I would like to speak to my family alone, please. She's going to be family. Yeah. What's she trying to do? Go back in time? Am I going to stop? Is that why she transforms? Because she thinks she can save him with it. That was one of her points, wasn't it? Was, um, she oh, she's trying to rebuild. Is she trying to rebuild with Paternia? She is. That's the tower, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, what's she gonna do? Oh, that's why she's gonna transform into that other thing. Um, give her more power or something. Understand what we're trying to conjure here, Tila. I've been trying to rebuild Pretoria, so heroic souls like Rhaenys and oh, Malcolm so have go to yeah. go. But now that King Randor is about to die, if I don't restore Pretoria, what will happen to his soul? And Adam needs to know his father is going on to his great reward. I can't run to my mother to fix my problems all the time. But asking people who love you for help isn't wrong either, Tila. Especially I love you, Uncle. Okay. Running out of time. Yeah, don't do a flash and hide it for everybody. The greatest adventures I ever embarked on as liege of this land were the ones I shared with you. <laughs> and thank you for making our son, Adam, my pride and joy. You always had more heart than anyone in Eternia. Which means you have plenty to share. Don't wait too long to tell Tila how you really feel. What about his daughter? What? His daughter? Adora. Oh, yeah. Adora. They know be like, oh, Alan, you have to rule my stead. No, there is another. Mm. <laughs> Play it out to you, though, because of that thing. Oh, she's still there. The glorious sorceress. How can I help Tila? I've been trying to restore Praternia, using the power of Grayskull and every ounce of Zor magic at my command. I'm still figuring all this out, and I guess I'm just not strong enough. It has nothing to do with strength, Tila. And Praternia was created with the magic from all three of the old gods. Zor, Ka, and Havoc. So to restore Praternia... Oh. You'll need the help of all three powers that created it. Well, that's pretty much turns like. Take magic was lost to humans eons ago. So those three gods, is that, 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 well, that vision was in season one, it was a goat. A yeah, it's havoc, a bird, and a snake. Oh, okay, I get it now. Take a soul. So seek Ka's craft where it was last ever seen. In the magical mists of dark smoke. Well, that doesn't sound like a good place. Very on the nose, right? Yeah, typical <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
you can do snakes. It Why does it always have to be snakes? Find your brightest whenever your heart is on the line. Did you think she'll go up to Britannia when, when she rebuilds it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was waiting because for, right? Yeah. You would have done. You, my son, will become king of Eternia. <laughs> Please. See, if we didn't see the trailer, I think that they would as save him by the end of the season. Or as He-Man, because it cannot be both. A king can't abandon his subjects for high adventure. Being Watch me. Can you just do that? Here they go. <laughs> but throwing a crown on top of it could break even the most powerful man in the universe. <laughs> so you will have to make a choice, son. No tears. For I've lived a long <laughs> Don't cry. Life. I've lost friends, family, even a brother. And yet I brother. die. A luckier man than most. I'm thinking of the old 2002 thing where Skeletor was his brother. Yeah, I say Skeletor was, yeah, Skeletor yeah. was, was, was his name. I was Ken, your Ken, 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 it wasn't two thousand. They were actually brothers, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. And then he tried to assassinate him, got acid in his face. Yeah, yeah. And then he and went to Hordak for help, and he was like, "Oh, I'll save you." But is that because in the trailer we saw Hordak yeeting him off of? Oh, you think that's <laughs> it's the same thing? They're gonna bring that back. And after you eulogize your father, oh, that's he's just dead. Well, okay. Well, okay. I thought it was gonna be the end of the season. Do we have to do the coronation so soon? And as the new king, you need to tell your subjects that you're here. Keldor. Even if you're here, yeah, 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 yeah. So if that's what it's okay, to say. Just tell them the truth, son. And the truth I need is a queen. that you loved <laughs> your father very much. Eternian hearts are heavy from the loss of our lees. The king was a... One time I wanted a billow bite. All the kids in Eternos had billow bikes that year, and, and I asked my dad to get me one too. So rather than order his subjects to make another one, you know what he did? My father, the king, he built me a billow bike. I didn't have the heart to tell him how, how bad it looked, how homemade. I mean, I couldn't ride this thing in public. I'd be the laughing stock of all of Eternia. And I never once rode the billow bike my dad built for me. But now, I'd give all the money in the world to ride that billow bike just once. Got the witcher. <laughs> we lost the best king Eternia has ever known. And as I prepare to wear the crown, I can only say it that I'm sorry that I'll never be half the man or king my father was. Then don't accept the crowd. Who said like that? that? Someone who was nope, robbed of the birthright. Oh, that's his brother? I am yeah. Keldor, Keldor, the brother of Rando, and the rightful ruler of Eternus. The Sam Hell? So he's not Skeletor. Mm. Okay. Or is he? Or is he a uh, plot? No, or don't know. He's got the blue face and skin and everything. Okay, yeah. I've got, I've got a theory. Okay, I got a theory. <laughs> what? Open it. I did not really think he was gonna die in episode one. I thought that was gonna be like. No, I thought. Of... Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we saw the trailer, which obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah but I thought, I thought that was gonna be the end of the season, or like yeah. halfway through, not the f first episode. Jesus. <laughs> Which theory? Which theory? Tell me theory. Well, we saw the other He-Man. It's from a different world. And that's a different world where Skeletor didn't become bad. That's my theory. That's what I'm going with. It's the 2002 version of the show coming in. Well, I know. I feel like just another world where maybe him and his brother... It's just weird how we saw that other He-Man, right? It doesn't look like the normal He-Man. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like that's another He-Man. Mm. And it's he's supposed to be Skeletor, but he's not. Yeah, I think it's um the motherboard merged Man, Skeletor could, pretending to be... It could be. Yeah, it Cowboy. could be. I mean, I guess we might get a flashback of, of how it... Because that's, that's obviously why they've killed him off. Because otherwise he'd go, You're not my brother, my brother died. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Yeah. I killed him. Yeah, yeah. with a sword. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's a skeleton. He knows he's skeleton. Yeah, that's good. And he might be. The I mean, is that actually canon, though? Is that just from the 2002 show? I, won't, I remember it. I've never heard show. of that. I've never, so. never heard. Other than the 2002 show, mm. I've never 
read or seen Skeletor being the brother of I think King. it's just the 2002 canon but it'd be quite interesting if they're going to use that plot line but like you say it's a fake out and they're tying some stuff together mm. for it yeah so. yeah Interesting. So, is a Hordak still on Etheria? Yeah, Etheria. Yeah, it's it's Etheria. Yeah. Where, where, where she she was based on it. Mm. And so she sent mother. He sent mother box, motherboard. Sorry to start tra- tra- changing as many people as possible before he comes. Well, that's what the Horde does, isn't it? They, yeah. They're all cybernetic things. So invade. What if we see any of the? I know we see like a couple of characters in the trailer, but like, I see any other ones from the uh, original film. And that's the other thing as well, where you see Wildor, who is obviously from. The movie, yeah, mm. different universe, right? So you think his key goes through universes rather than planets? Yeah. So I saw the figure, and he's got the key with the figure. Oh, has he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's only because the last line of the DC Comics was called something, and that's why I think that they've taken the idea from it. But okay, I could be wrong. Well, I guess we'll find out. Find out. We are smashing for all of these yeah, tonight, so we. Uh, we will jump on to the next episode. So everyone, that was episode one of he- Master of the Universe Revolution. Uh, what do you think about it? Comment below, let us know. They obviously released all five at once, so we are watching all five tonight. So there's not going to be much chatting in between. We'll do a big like download of what's happened when we get to the end of episode five. That's what you did there. <laughs> Took most of this episode. <laughs> Oh, just a ha- not, not just a hammer egg, my friend. <laughs> is that one of the ones you had take, take, that, that, was, that you had written? Don't, yeah. tell, don't tell everyone that was take 15. Um, <laughs> 5.0. Yeah. <laughs> um, so please don't forget, if you want to see the full reaction of this episode as well as the rest of this series, please head over to our Patreon where we've got full watching on reactions. We also have a Patreon. Uh, we have said Patreon. I also have a, a social media setup. Links in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please go on the subscribe button. And also, we have a podcast about the the podcast, the Legends of Podcasting. You can find us there. We're going to jump into the next episode of Masters of the Universe. I have the power.